Well, let's get a look at John O'Lance right now and Andrew Kellaway in action for the New South Wales Country Eagles. As we said, out of Tamworth, Chillingworth Oval, over a thousand people packed in, and it was John O'Lance, the man of the moment, opening the scoring for the Eagles. Good service there by Mitch Short. John O'Lance just gets on the outside of the fenders, 10 metres out, not going to stop him. Good start for his side there. They went into this game as favourites, did the Eagles, and Charlie Clifton, gee, he can cause some headaches as well when he chimes into the line. Got a lot of dash does in 13-4 New South Wales country. You see a little bit of bum <laughs> cheek there from Matty Phillip. 8-9 <laughs> off the back of the scrum, and Jake Gordon dives over. He gets the stars back into it as Matty Phillip adjusts himself. Lovely to see that. I love this from John O. Lance. It's almost like us talking to him gave him the spark required to produce a little bit of magic, dinks it over the top, follows up, then regains it, spins out and goes away for some pretty decent cover defence. A contender for our individual try of the year. And Charlie Clifton is about to get his second try. He's a, he's a window cleaner, Charlie Clifton, as the boys oh, informed us. Of course, he's a window cleaner. But a great play here. Time. Sammy Lousy, watch Big Lousy get the right arm free for New Zealand Warriors and now Waratah player. That's an unbelievable offload. Haven't seen much of Sammy Lousy. No, he's terrific. A wonderful prospect in the making. Just remind me, what's the name of uh, Charlie's company in the extra suburbs? Clifton's Cleaning, I think. Not sure. Don't Love's quote me going on that. up the 50-footer. Now, Harry Jones lurking out wide. I think he may catch the touchline here on the way to popping it down. Don't worry about it. The five points go in the frame. The Sydney Stars start to get a bit of momentum in this second half and really force the issue. He definitely ran out, Sean. He ran into the crowd last <laughs> try. But this one, he knows how to stay in. He gets away from Clifton ah, again, I think finish. it is. Great finish from Jones. He's going so well at the moment. He is Harry Jones. And New South Wales Country Eagles, boom, big contact there going in over the top. They turn to the man that calls himself Figgy Smalls. I speak of Sam Fig from the Randwick Club. That's a good little place to be lurking. I love that try. Six, seven and eight, all from the Randwick Club, Sean. Beautiful try. Oh, stop it. Yep. Okay, so that leaves us with a full-time score, 37. 31. Both teams serving it up in spades to the Tamworth locals. Both Eagles wins this year have been by six points or less. It was always going to be a pretty tough game. The Stars were, had won their first three games and it's a pretty hot day out here in Tamworth but I think it was perfect weather for rugby so it was a pretty good day. I've actually got 16 family members here so I'm pretty happy with how the boys went today. First loss is my head coaching career, yeah. Oh look I just, we just got to keep performing, you know. As I said, it's a show. We keep rolling the boys in. And look, I was if I paid tickets to that show, I'd be pretty happy. Advantage. OK, well, this caught the eye of you, didn't it, Stephen Hawes? As we zoom in at the weekend, we had... Oh, that's clever from our producer, Robbie. We had a full moon in and amongst the stars. Very pasty backside there, Matty Phillip. That's but, a, you know, <laughs> doesn't matter how you scrum it. Pants around your waist, get it that's done. That's an enormous crack <laughs> on the back end of Phillip.